friends are going to draw a bear. Yeah, a bear is sleeping or hibernating. We hope you get to follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're going to use markers. You need some paper and something to color with. All right, let's start. Yeah. We're first going to draw an oval shape for our bear's head. We're going to draw it right here or a circle. And I'm kind of drawing it small or smaller and off to the left a little. Yeah, and down low. It's going to be all cuddled up, nice and warm. And a ball. And a ball. Then we can draw the nose. We're going to draw an oval shape. Then we're going to draw, let's color in that shape first. Then let's also draw the eyes. I'm going to draw a little curve right here and a little curve over here on the right. He's sleeping. Yeah, shh. Shush. Or she. Or she. Yeah, do not wake a hi hibernating bear ever. Never. Uh, oh, yeah, or a sleeping dad. Or oh, mom. No, dad. <laughs> Next, we're going to draw the ears. We're going to draw a upside down U on the left and also over here on the right. Oh, we could also draw a little mouth right here. Maybe our bear is snoring. Yeah. <laughs> then let's draw our bear's back. We're going to start over here and we're going to draw an upside down U. It comes over and down like that. And we're going to draw uh, the arm, the front arm, coming down by the head like this. And then right at the end, we're going to curve up. So before you get to the mouth, curve up and connect to the head. Yeah. Then we can also draw the other arm that comes down like this, around, and then connects back up to the head too. This is how I sleep, <laughs> all curled up. <laughs> then back here, let's draw the back leg. We're going to come in and then just connect in. Yeah, we did it. We finished drawing our sleeping bear. Well, <laughs> let's draw the cave that our bear is in. Bears right? always sleep in caves. Yeah, let's first draw a little rock right here. I'm going to draw a small rock. We could draw an upside down U and then connect the bottom. This could be his buddy. Yeah, this <laughs> pet rock. <laughs> we could draw, let's draw another one over here. Maybe this one's smaller or a different shape. It's a baby rock. Yeah, and then we could draw its mommy rock right <laughs> next to a, a bigger one. <laughs> I'm going to draw a small rock over here too. That This one, I'm only drawing part of it. It's behind the other one. Okay, now let's draw the cave. We're going to draw a bumpy line. It comes up like this, over crossed and then connect down to this rock on this side. Whee! Yeah, there you go. Okay, now let's draw the outside of our cave. I'm going to draw a bumpy line that comes up like that and we'll draw one that comes up over here on this side too. Then let's draw the snow on top of our cave. I'm first going to draw a little curve at the top of each of the outside lines. And then we're going to draw a wavy line that connects over to the other side. Then let's draw the top of the snow. We're going to curve around and connect over here. That's a lot of snow. It's a lot of snow. But our bear is staying warm. Let's also draw the bottom of our cave. We could draw a curve that connects the two rocks together down here. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our bear hibernating. We, we, he looks really cozy, except we're not completely done. What we, we still need to color it. Yeah, we still need to color it. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video if you want to use our drawings as inspiration for your drawings. You ready to fast forward? Yes. job on coloring your sleeping bear. I love it. I especially love the Z's. Thank I, you. I had to add those too. 
I also added extra snow, but you can leave that off. You could also add other things in the background. Like maybe some trees. Oh yeah, trees or forests. That would be awesome. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your bear. Yeah, your sleeping bear. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.